If you are a content creator, you love to write stuff, or maybe you are a YouTuber, you like to create YouTube videos on specific topics, then it's good to have a tool that will help you to know what people are searching for. Well, today I'll be reviewing Omnidominator, which is a keyword research tool that allows you to search for keywords in different countries, what people are looking for on Google and on YouTube. Plus, this tool also allows you uh, to create hashtags and more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full review. I'm going to show you all the details. Before I do, uh, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, we'll redirect you to my website where you can find more information about the pricing, available upgrades, some extras that you're going to get if you purchase this through my link. So make sure, in case you're interested, that you check that out. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you how this platform works. So right now I'm logged in. This is the dashboard. And basically here in the left menu is everything that you'll need. So first it starts with an SEO keyword research tool for Google. And then we also have a YouTube keyword. Now let's start with the SEO keyword research tool. And the platform is uh, super simple. Basically you search here what you'd like to search for in Google and then Omnidominator will give you the results. Now, first you type your keywords. So let's say you want to write or create content about affiliate marketing, choose the country here. So basically you can also search in other countries for uh, specific languages as well. So in this case, I'm going to do United States and I'm going to generate the suggestions here. Now this will take about uh, between five and 15 seconds, I think, uh, for it to generate the list. There you go. And here you can see the keywords that are available and also some extra information about those keywords. So here you can see, for example, uh, in the first column, you can see all of the keywords that people are searching for. So for example, affiliate link on Pinterest, affiliate link websites. Uh, let's see here, affiliate marketing beginner. Uh, affiliate marketing beginners best uh, mar affiliate marketing best niches now these are the, the things people are searching for and there are 148 entries here where you can search here one two three four five six uh, and on the other columns you can see how many costs per click this will cost if you do paid ads for example to this keyword now you can also see the monthly searches in here. Also the competition, like if you want to write stuff uh, that you want to rank for, you can see that this is a low competition keyword. Also the ranking score is in here as well. So you can also filter here. Let's say you want to have a lot of monthly searches here, affiliate marketing course. You can see always when I use a tool like this, it inspires me to see what subjects people are thinking about. And hey, I can create content around this subject. So affiliate market salary um, definition, let's see here. So you go through here uh, to get the good ideas, best affiliate marketing programs. This would, for example, be a good one to rank for. Uh, it has 2.4, let's say 2,400,000 searches here, 2.4 thousand searches, and it's low competition. So this is how you get the information about the keywords. Now, the second option is here, YouTube keywords. And by the way, let me go back and let me show you an example here, because for example, you can also do um, in Dutch here, who maak ik een website? So let's say we want to search in the dirt Dutch engine here. Uh, like I said, you can do this in any uh, search uh, in any country here. So let's say uh, so it will be Netherlands. Yes. So I'm going to generate suggestions here and then it's going to show me the Dutch results here. And there you go. Like eigen website, eigen website beginner. So how to start a website. You can see the monthly searches in here and also the competition, etc. So you could search for any country. Second one is YouTube keywords. So in here you can do basically exactly the same. So let's say we want to search, we want to create content about creating a website. Let's see what people are searching for around this specific topic. So now you can see here, AI website builder is a very 
uh, very, very hot right now. It's 60,000 monthly searches, but it's also very difficult to rank for an AI website builder because probably a lot of people are creating content for this specific subject. But basically, you can get the IDs here. So, for example, best platforms for websites, this has a lower difficulty. And don't get me wrong, uh, don't think when it says low difficulty that your that your videos will rank instantly because you know to rank your videos, it needs a lot more than only a video created for a specific subject. So if you're just starting out with YouTube, your videos will less likely rank in the search engines than when you have an established YouTube channel with thousands of, of subscribers. So keep in mind that in order to rank in YouTube, it always needs consistency. And basically that is also the same when you create content for Google as well. So what this does to me is it gives me IDs, for example, here. So you go over this, the best, best platforms for websites, uh, best website builders. So you can create a topic around the best website builder. So you could do a comparison. Uh, and you can create titles like this so that your videos will be found in the YouTube search engine. So for example here, how to make a website for free. This is very popular, but this is also very difficult to rank because there's a lot of topics already around this topic. But you get the ID uh, that you can get more IDs from putting keywords in here. So let's do something else. Let's say Photoshop. And we want to create content around Photoshop, but we want to get IDs for Photoshop. Well, here you get the IDs, right? So you get, okay, you can also, Adobe is also from Photoshop. Let's see here, art classes. So probably we need to specify a little more because it has 228 entries. But at the other hand, we can get IDs here. Colin Smith tutorial, uh, clipping mask. Uh, let's see. So these are short best photoshop course here so this is also a high one so let's say the difficulty let's put that to medium here so let's say um glowing object effect in photoshop if you want to do a tutorial about that but i think you got the id right creating a mock-up in photoshop you get the idea that you can get a lot of insight in the search engine of youtube now, these are these honestly, these two tools are to me the most uh, exciting parts in this software because it gives you a good insight of the search terms, about the volumes, the difficulty. Also, uh, one other thing is, for example, um, in this case, we're searching for YouTube. So you see the comp competition score, difficulty, etc. When you go to the SEO keywords research, you could also see what people had to pay per click. Well, that will be a little bit similar to YouTube videos when people target that. Uh, if you want to start or if you want to have your YouTube channel and you want to live from your YouTube ad revenue, then it's better to create videos around topics that have high, uh, where people have to pay a lot of money to put ads on those keywords, because that means that you're also gonna get paid a lot. So for example, uh, you know, let's let's do Photoshop here. Let's do one more time in here. Let's go to, um, uh, let's see how to start. Let's say how to start drop shipping. Let's do something like this. And then we do United States. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yes, this one, and let's generate some IDs. There you go. Here you can see, can you do drop shipping under 18? You can see here the cost per click. These are some nice cost per clicks. What advertisers are paying per click when somebody's searching for AliExpress drop shipping, they pay $5.70 for a click to their website. So if you create topics around drop shipping, you're probably gonna get paid uh, some nice click revenue from YouTube when you create videos around that subject because advertisers will target your videos. Uh, next thing in here is the hashtag manager. And that's the second tool where you have all these tools like hashtag generator, hashtags from text, hashtags from URL, trending hashtags. Let's simply go over them quickly. So a hashtag generator, let's say we wanna do affiliate marketing. We type that in here and we're gonna click generate and boom. Here you get all the hashtags that you can use and you can see the total posts with this. You can see the average likes. So you can add these hashtags to your videos, etc. 
or maybe also to your blog post, etc. Here you can do hashtags from text. So you could basically type something in here. So let's type something in here in this Photoshop tutorial. We're going to show you how to remove the background from an image Photoshop. You can say, I want to generate from this text. I want to create hashtags. So tutorial, remove, backgrounds. You know, you can come up with these yourself as well. That's why I said those two are the most exciting tools from this product. Hashtags from a URL. So you could basically take a URL and then it will give you hashtags from that URL. Trending hashtags. So you could see what kind of hashtags are trending. So when I click here, you can search for these hashtags. So these are currently very trending. You can see the tweets per hour, the retweets per hour, the exposure. So you could see, you know, if you want to have a trending, um, you want to post something on Twitter, for example, here, uh, you can see exactly how many tweets. So this has thousand tweets per hour right now, playlist. You know, Bitcoin is very hot right now, 234 uh, tweets per hour with that hashtag. So, um, yeah, here you can get some information, which will be good for you to put on Twitter, use the right hashtag if you want to get attention for people that are searching for those hashtag, hashtags. Also, banned hashtags. So this is an example here uh, where you can see if hashtags are banned. So, for example, let me put that in here. You can say generate. And from my hashtags, I can now see that these two hashtags are banned. So you're probably not better use those hashtags on the social media platforms. Uh, auto hashtags in here. So here you can also write a piece of content uh, and then it will generate hashtags for you. So let's say you want to create seven hashtags here uh, at the end, anywhere. You can say where you would like to have these hashtags. So when I do anywhere here, I can generate hashtags and then it will add the hashtags here, unlock your creative potential. And here you see with our Photoshop training and then dive into the world of digital creativity and master the art. So it's going to generate these hashtags in the content or in the description that you have created uh, on your social media channels. This can be YouTube, uh, Instagram, etc. I think that this is a cool feature as well because it saves you time. You simply type that in here and it's going to uh, hashtag the important keywords for you. And then the final one is emoji suggestions here uh, where you can type something in here. So let's type the same text here, like unlock, unlock your crea create creative potential with our Photoshop training. Uh, it's about Photoshop. Generate the emojis that I can use in this post. Personally, I would have loved that they also added these emojis directly to that post, similar with the auto hashtags. Uh, but these are basically the image that you can use, like a pencil here, uh, globe here, uh, eyeballs. So this has to do with the content and you can add them to your content. And that's basically what Omni Dominator is all about. Uh, it's giving you insight in keywords uh, on Google, YouTube, it's creating hashtags for you, etc. So in case you're interested, again, Check out the link in the description. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider doing so. Uh, I do a lot of product reviews, marketing related product reviews. And uh, yeah, hit the notification bell to stay updated uh, each time I upload a new video. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.